Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about moles. So let's start with the definition of a mole. One mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. So we could be talking about atoms, we could be talking about molecules. As long as we have this number of them, then it will be one mole of whatever we're talking about. So here are two examples. One mole of carbon-12 would contain that number of particles. So instead of writing one mole, we could write 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 particles, meaning atoms in this case. Particles or atoms of carbon would have a mass of 12 grams. And in the same way, one mole, in other words, this many atoms of oxygen, would have a mass of 16 grams. And that's because it has a higher relative atomic mass than carbon. So that number of particles, that number of atoms, would have an altogether higher mass compared to the same number of atoms of carbon. If we look at one mole of O2, so these are oxygen molecules made up of two oxygen atoms bonded together, what would the mass of that be? So one mole of O2. So it means that we have this many molecules of oxygen. And of course each oxygen molecule is made up of two oxygen atoms. So each oxygen atom has a relative atomic mass of 16, meaning that an oxygen molecule must have a relative formula mass of 32. And so one mole of oxygen molecules would have a mass of 32 grams. So we see that basically one mole of a substance is its relative formula mass in grams. It was a man called Avogadro who discovered all this and this number is now called Avogadro's number. So Avogadro found that 12 grams of carbon would have this many carbon atoms in it. So why does this matter to us? Well, it's actually helpful in real life experiments. Imagine you had to do this reaction. If you've watched my previous video on balancing equations, you would know that this means that one atom of carbon reacts with one molecule of oxygen to produce one molecule of carbon dioxide. But if we actually wanted to do this reaction, how do we know how much of each thing to use? It's not realistic to get one atom of carbon and try and react it with one molecule of oxygen. How would you do that? You could say, okay, what about a hundred carbon atoms? But then who's going to count them and how are they going to count them? But what if we said we were going to use this many carbon atoms and the same number of oxygen molecules. Could we do that? Well, no one's going to sit and count that many carbon atoms, but we do know that that many carbon atoms would have a mass of 12 grams. And we know that that many oxygen molecules would have a mass of 32 grams. And we know that this number of particles would have this mass because that's one mole. One mole of carbon has a mass of 12 grams. And one mole of oxygen molecules, O2 molecules, has a mass of 32 grams, as we saw earlier. So that would produce a mass of 44 grams of 
carbon dioxide. If we just add these two together, the total should be the mass of the carbon dioxide. And we can see from the relative formula mass of carbon dioxide that that would be the case because we have 12 from this carbon and we have two oxygens, each one being 16. So we have 12 plus 16 plus 16 and that should give us 44 grams if we convert it into grams. So really what this is telling us is if we react one mole of carbon with one mole of O2, it would give us one mole of carbon dioxide. So moles are useful because it gives us a number of atoms that we know the mass of. So it allows us to do real reactions. So let's look at another example. We have H2 hydrogen gas reacting with O2 oxygen gas and producing H2O which is water. So this equation tells us that two moles of H2 reacts with one mole of O2 and gives us two moles of H2O. But if we wanted to actually do this reaction, how much would we need to use of each reactant? And then how much of the product would we get at the end? So we start by looking at the relative formula masses for these molecules. H2 is just two hydrogens, so it would have uh, Mr of two. Oxygen would have an Mr of 32 because it's just two oxygen atoms. And the Mr of H2O would be 2 plus 16, so it's 18. And that's just for H2O. And so we know that one mole of H2 would have a mass of 2 grams. We know that one mole of O2 would have a mass of 32 grams. And one mole of H2O would have a mass of 18 grams. But we need two moles of H2. So we need four grams of H2. One mole of O2, so that's still 32 grams and we need and it will produce two moles of h2o so it will produce 36 grams of h2o and that's useful because these are numbers that we can work with you can react four grams of h2 with 32 grams of o2 and then you know it should produce you 36 grams of h2o okay so that was just a video on moles and the definition of moles and what it means for us in real terms. So I hope you like the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share. And I'll see you all in the next video.